Last week, if you can recall, we looked at uh, two catamarans at the Cape Town Boat Show. One was the Maverick 440 and the other one was the Leopard 45. And the Leopard 45 again confirmed our choice. So now you guys know, on our journey we decided on a catamaran, a new one, and it's a Leopard 45. Um, <laughs> yes. Yay! <laughs> and so this week, we're here at Makuzi Beach Resort, uh, Beach Lodge, and we're going to talk about our options, which Leopard Catamaran actually offers. So there's a few standard options that they offer, and one of them uh, is the four cabin and owner's version. version. So normally owner's version or the, 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 the charter, the, the charter version. Charter version. <laughs> And then also we're going to look at some curtains and Ooh, things yes. like that. Um, so yeah, join us on this step further into Thanks. our journey. <laughs> this amazing view that we have. We are here at Lake Malawi and for this episode we're going to discuss the three major um, options for Leopard Catamaran. The first option is the three cabin or the owner's version which gives you three Three cabins and three beds. Second option is the charter option, which is the four cabin and four head version. So we decided on the the three uh, the four cabin uh, charter version because I was more interested in having a workbench or a workplace to have some tools and stuff. And if I look at the other, other boats, they have a lot of tools, um, like sewing machines and hammers and all sorts of things like that. So we were thinking of um, using that space. If we don't have it for guests, we will use it then as a workspace, which will be most of the time. So I'm looking more at storage. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the head on the owner's version and the shower just takes up way too much space that you could utilize it far better for, for storage. The three cabin owner's version might be sufficient for patrons, it will definitely not work for us once we start inviting family and friends over. Um, we don't want to be stuck in a situation where somebody has to bunk up in the saloon. Well, the Leopard 45 saloon can be converted into a double bunk we will only in extreme cases go that route because the saloon is the main social point on the boat and the poor person sleeping in that bunk is going to have absolutely no privacy. So the next item is should we go curtains or should we go blinds? Which one is it going to be? From previous experience I just found the wired curtains just doesn't work. So they never close properly. Leopard 45 actually offers a very nice standard option which is blinds and these little it's like almost like Venetian blinds they just come down like a zigzag and we will show you when you're on the boat. Many visitors to Lake Malawi are often baffled at the plumes of smoke which often appear above the lake, hovering like distant fires. It's always a pleasure to see the look of surprise mixed with either delight or disgust when the guests are informed that the smoke is actually vast clouds of lake flies, known as Mpongu. When this flabbergasting phenomena occurs, it represents the largest gathering of any species in the world, 
that's billions upon billions of tiny flies at any one time procreating. Yes, the explosion of flies into the air is the climax, for want of a better word, of their life cycle. They burst out from the water, find their mates, enjoy a reproductive time together. The female lays her eggs, which they drop to the surface of the water and sink down to the depths of the lake to avoid the predatory fish eager for a snack. <laughs> continue with the factory options that Leopard um, Standard put on, on the options list and it will be things like folding props, it will be the music system, the Raymarine bass pack that they offer um, we, and also nav, gauge, nav station, uh, digital radar versus a quantum radar, the down vision fish finders, uh, cameras, AIS transceivers, electrical stuff like 120 versus 220 volts and a few of those things and then some of the other things that were standard on a boat we will discuss in another episode which is part of the aftermarket and we will give you the reasons why we decided not to take the, the factory options but rather to go with the aftermarket. See you next week. Time for you to get out of full screen and hit the like button. Support us on Patreon, like our pictures on Instagram and follow us on Facebook to become part of our social active experience.